بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم میں ہوں فاطمہ اپنے چینل ڈسکور سنگاپور کے ساتھ اس وقت میں لٹل انڈیا ٹیکا مارکیٹ کے بالکل سامنے واقع سری کمالا ولاس ریسٹورینٹ کے سامنے موجود ہوں یہ ریسٹورینٹ سنگاپور کا ایک مشہور اور کافی پرانا ریسٹورینٹ ہے جو کہ نائنٹین ایٹی سکس سے اپنے کسٹمرز کو مختلف قسم کے مزیدار ویجیٹیرین اور نان ویجیٹیرین کھانے سرو کر رہا ہے مالا ریسٹورینٹ حلال سرٹیفائڈ ہونے کی وجہ سے نہ صرف یہاں کی مسلم کمیونٹی میں کافی پاپولر ہے بلکہ سنگاپور میں رہنے والی دوسری ریسز جیسے چائنیز ملے سکھ انڈین اور ایون کے مختلف ملکوں سے تعلق رکھنے والے ٹورسٹ میں بھی کافی مقبول ہے یہاں پر کئی اقسام کے تازہ پراٹھے تو سے مرتبات نان بریانی سی فوڈ چکن ٹکا ویجیٹیرین اور نان ویجیٹیرین کھانے بہت مشہور ہیں یہاں کی مسالہ چکن اور مختلف قسم کے دو سے کھانے لوگ دور دور سے آتے ہیں چلیے ملتے ہیں اس ریسٹورینٹ کے مالک مسٹر رکسن سے اور معلوم کرتے ہیں کہ چائنیز ہوتے ہوئے بھی ان کے دل میں انڈین ریسٹورینٹ کھولنے کا خیال کیسے آیا Good afternoon, Mr. Rickson. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, good. I'm good. First of all, thank you very much for allowing us to feature Kumala Restaurant in our Discovery Singapore channel. Please tell us about yourself. My name is Rickson and uh, I've been running this restaurant for the past 10 years. Actually, I took over this restaurant that was 10 years ago in, in 2010. So, your restaurant name is Kamala. Yeah. What it signifies? Actually, the, the name is actually uh, by, by the founder and Kamala is actually meaning in English is a uh, lotus. I personally like Indian food, Indian mm-hmm. spice. I almost every week I eat a few times Indian food. Like uh, from start from Prata mm-hmm. and then come to Brani. Mm-hmm. And then and then from there I know I, I come to know Jose also. I eat uh, Indian food a lot and I like to cook Indian food also. Wow. Yeah, so oh. I, I know how to cook. Oh, yeah. you know how to cook? Yeah, I know, I know how to cook some Indian uh, food. Yeah, I, I learned through, through some different chef, Indian oh. chef, yes. So how, how about your family? Um, yeah, yeah, once a while they will come here and, and, and have my That's food here. Food. So which are your favorite dishes in this? Mm-hmm. We have a variety of very nice food here, but uh, if you ask me, I would say it like uh, masala chicken and our dosa. Mm-hmm. Our fried chicken is good also, and tandoori chicken. So you have North Indian and South Indian? Yes, yes, tandoori is, is North Indian. Mm-hmm. So, uh, share some of your challenges in running this restaurant. When I first started to run this business, and I, I, I faced uh, a lot of difficulties, like, you know, handling the staff, mm-hmm. because I'm new in this trade. And I know nothing in the restaurant business. Some of the staff, they will start to, you know, question me. And I actually, you know, facing a lot of difficulties. And also in terms of the management wise, all day they are using those very traditional methods, you know. Mm-hmm. And actually I changed to whole system. Mm-hmm. And so, so the period I very tough for me. So how you overcome all these challenges? I have to stay in the restaurant and explain to the to, to the customer and also to the staff, you know, especially the customer. I have to explain to them why and then make them feel happy and then mm-hmm. talk to them, make friends with them. Mm-hmm. This is actually a very long process. Yeah. yeah I, I believe communication is also Yes, very yes, also, yes. Yeah, because I, I, I don't speak Tamil. Mm-hmm. I, I can only speak English. So for those old age who don't understand English, it's actually quite tough for me to explain to them. So mm-hmm. I can only only use some body language, mm-hmm. friendly smile, mm-hmm. and make them feel comfortable and happy. So currently we have a total of 20 of staff mm-hmm. into two shifts. We were talking about the challenges so to the current COVID-19 situation. Uh, it has any impact on your and business also? Yes, yes. The impact was quite, uh, quite tough for us, and uh, especially for the past, uh, for for the first three months, the business dropped tremendously, at least eighty percent to ninety percent drop, and we are we we are suffering. I, I I don't retrench any staff because I know all the staff they have their own family to support. I have to rearrange the work workforce. At least all the staff they can keep their job, and I can cut down some of their my burden also. 2010, I took over this restaurant. It was a very old and traditional Indian restaurant. Mm-hmm. Then in 2014, 
four, I think thirteen or fourteen, mm-hmm. I I renovate the whole restaurant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I make it uh, simple, clean, modern. The restaurant have been changing step by step. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from uh, I I actually put in effort to 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 change the environment to make it clean and neat. Mm-hmm. And I even train all my staff to be to be clean and hygiene, mm-hmm. and also in manners wise, mm-hmm. how to entertain the customer, how to mm-hmm. service the customer. You know. So I can see that you are very involved in the restaurant. Even you are helping them in cooking in the kitchen. I have seen. Yes, actually I like to cook. Mm-hmm. I like to do all the handy works. Mm-hmm. So basically, I know everything here. Mm-hmm. All, 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 in terms of the cooking wise mm-hmm. or in terms of mm-hmm. some of the minor repair work all by me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can guide them, you can support them. Yes, I can guide them. Yes. 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 So uh, would you like to share about any event or uh, our restaurant actually we, we every year we got regular uh, you know uh, like school students. Uh, mm-hmm. Every year they will come to my restaurant and organize a uh, Prata session, something like that. And, and and this group is uh, like hundred over students, mm-hmm. and sometimes they will ask us to go to their school, mm-hmm. and 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 bring bring the hot plate there and let the the stud the their student experience how to do prata or this, and mm-hmm. uh, supply this our uh, this catering mm-hmm. to those uh, like shipyard and and even like school like polytechnic, community center, mm-hmm. yeah, and some church, yeah, they regularly order food from us also. Okay, so um, what motivates you to be in this business? I like to challenge with all this. Uh, actually, running a restaurant is very challenging. You need to know how to handle the customer. Mm-hmm. You need to know how to handle the staff, how to control the purchasing. So, so I I learned from there. I learned how to control the purchasing. I learned how mm-hmm. to handle customer. I learned how to control the staff here. I wanted to. Do some changing in terms of the marketing side. Mm-hmm. So I want to bring in automation. You are cooking very well, but how how about your self care? Actually, besides working, I take up exercise every week. Mm-hmm. I play basketball, mm-hmm. you know, to throw all my frustration. Mm-hmm. So I, I I go to gyms also every mm-hmm. week, yeah. Do you have any message for our viewers? I hope uh, besides Indian and Malay, I we have more and more Chinese and some other races, you know. Yeah, because some of the Chinese come here, I will explain to them what is Indian food and what what is good in Indian food. Yeah, so hope that I I can bring Indian food to more people. Uh, thank you so much you're for welcome. your time. Yeah, you're welcome. तो यहाँ पर ठंडे और गर्म मशरूबात की एक बहुत बड़ी वैरायटी मौजूद है मगर आज हमने यहाँ की मसाला टी ऑर्डर की है जो कि बहुत ही मज़ेदार है और यकीनन मैं इसे पीने दोबारा यहाँ ज़रूर आऊँगी अगर आपको मेरी ये आज की वीडियो पसंद आई हो तो इसे लाइक करें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर करें और मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें अब इजाज़त दें फिर मिलेंगे डिस्कवर सिंगापोर में एक नई वीडियो के साथ अल्लाह हाफिज़